So, I said I'd document this full process. I am full of cold. I have an ear infection and a sinus infection, so that's fun. Um, but I'm terrible at do nothing, so here we are. Um, I did say I'd document the full process. Um, I have already received one letter with the appointment dates on, but the appointments didn't work for me because I'm climbing Mount Kilimanjaro at the end of the month. So the um, the time to get my bloods done was like the 1st of February and I wouldn't have been in the country. So I just got my appointment letter through. And it's for next Thursday, the 12th of January at 10.30. So that's when I'll get my bloods drawn. Um, yeah, a bit weird. I told my dad the other day, yesterday. Um, I haven't told him at all that I was even considering testing. Um, I just felt like I needed to share it with him and I'm not going to share it with my mum. For anybody who doesn't know anything about the genetic testing process, um, it takes them a full month to test your blood um, because it has to be sent to a specialist DNA lab. Um, so it's not just like, you know, if you get blood tests at a doctor's and you get them back a few days later, they have to send them to like some really high tech lab where they basically like look at your chromosomes and stuff. So. Yeah, um, I'll actually get won't get my results to the first of March because I'm in Kilimanjaro, so I won't be able to make like their ne their next available appointment. Um, and if I don't get them in March, I'd have to wait till May because they haven't got any appointments, so they must be super busy at the moment. Um, but yeah, see how it goes, and I'll keep you all up to date. So it's two days until my blood test. Um, today's Tuesday, my blood test is on Thursday. And I'm feeling a bit weird. Um, I'm still full of cold, but um, it feels really strange that I like can't talk to my mum about it. I mean, um, I know like in the f near future, like my mum won't be there all the time and I need to get used to like relying on her and stuff. Um, but I do talk to my mum about everything, so to like not tell her this like life changing like huge thing that's going on because obviously it will really worry her um it's quite hard in fact it's really hard um yeah so yeah and she's the one person out of everyone who will understand she's been through the process so yeah a bit rubbish but you know i can't i don't want to put her through that much worry because it's six weeks